Hi, I'm Christina and this is going to be my August TBR. So I have six books that I would like to read in the month of August, three of which are thrillers. Now, thrillers used to be my absolute favourite genre. I used to read so, so many thrillers and I haven't read that many this year and I haven't read that many that I've actually enjoyed this year. So I thought this will be the month that I read some more thrillers and hopefully I will find some new favourites because they were my favourite genre for a reason. And then I'm also going to read some historical fiction and some contemporary books. And historical fiction is a genre that I have read very, very few of. So I think it'll be nice to push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and just read some more books that I wouldn't normally pick up. So let's start with the thrillers. First up is The Other Black Girl by Zakia Dalila Harris. And this is a brand new thriller published this year and it's her debut novel. So this one is set in the world of publishing and we follow the main character Nella who is a woman in her mid-twenties and she's the only black employee at her company until newcomer Hazel arrives and then the story takes quite a sinister turn as Nella starts to receive threatening notes on her desk telling her to leave the company. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one. I hope it's going to be full of lots of twists and turns and just be a very suspenseful book. So yeah, looking forward to trying this one out. So the second thriller that I'm planning to read this month is Local Woman Missing by Mary Kavika. And this is her most recent novel published this year and it'll be the first book that I've read by her. So I first heard about this book from Gabby over at Gabby Reads and she has lots of thriller recommendations and she said she really, really enjoyed this one and I thought it sounded just up my street. So I'm really intrigued by the premise of this one. It's set in a small town where a mother and her six-year-old daughter disappear without a trace. Now it's 11 years later and the daughter has returned and everybody wants to know what happened. So I think this is going to be dark and mysterious and full of twists and turns and I'm really, really looking forward to reading this one. So the third and final thriller that I'm planning to read this month is The Chestnut Man. This is his debut novel. It's been translated from the Danish and Netflix have adapted this into a TV show. And I saw the trailer for that and I thought it looked really, really good. So I thought I definitely want to read the book first before watching the show. So here we are. This is set in Copenhagen and we follow a serial killer who is called the Chestnut Man and he is called this because at the scene of every single one of his crimes he leaves a chestnut man which is a handmade doll made of two chestnuts and matchsticks. So I think this sounds really really dark and I think it's going to be wonderful and like I say I want to watch the show when it comes out later this year or maybe early next year. So moving on to the historical fiction, I have Still Life by Sarah Winman. This is her most recent novel published this year and it will be my second book by this author. I read Tin Man by her and I thought it was absolutely wonderful. I loved it so, so much. It was so beautifully written, the characters were brilliant and it was so, so moving. It was my absolute favourite book of the year in which I read it. So I'm going into this one with very high expectations and I'm hoping it captures the same magic as Tin Man did for me. So this book is set during the Second World War and we follow a young British soldier and an elderly art historian. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this one and I just love the way that Sarah Winman writes. So I'm sure this is going to be absolutely brilliant. So the second historical fiction novel that I'm planning to read is Small Pleasures by Claire Chambers and I was initially interested in reading this book as it's been long listed for the Women's Prize for Fiction this year and this will be the fourth book that I've read that has been long listed for this prize. I have also read Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan, Luster by Raven Liliani and Piranesi by Susanna Clark. and I have dedicated book review videos for all of those books so I will link those down below just in case you'd like to hear my thoughts on any of them. 
So this book is set in the 1950s in London and we follow the main character of a journalist who becomes very intertwined with a family that she's writing an article about. So this sounds unlike anything I've ever read before and I'm very much looking forward to reading another book that has been long listed for this prize. So the last book that I'm planning to read this month is a contemporary novel, Pew by Catherine Lacey. So this was published last year and I saw it get a lot of buzz on booktube and I was just really, really intrigued to pick this one up. So it doesn't sound like anything I've ever read before and that's something that I really want to read more of. I just want to try and expand my reading taste a little bit. So this book is set in the American South and a person is found asleep on a pew in a church and nobody knows who this person is. So I'm just very much looking forward to reading this one. It's a really short little book and I'm just really curious to see what it's going to be about because the reviews that I heard, they all seem to be glowing reviews, but I still don't really know what this book is about. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding out for myself. So these are all the books that I'm planning to read in the month of August. If you have read any of these, please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if there's any here that you're now interested in reading, please let me know that too. So thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it. And please do subscribe if you'd like to see more of me talking about books. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.